Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. We are just outside the Vault of the Soul, where the Soul Gem containing Eldamar's, aka the Dreadlord Soul, is contained. We've re-equipped mirrors on everyone who didn't already have a silver shield. We've recast protective spells. Um, didn't have any fire shields left. Didn't have any enlarges left. Um, did give that cloak of displacement to Elvo here, so that would improve his armor class even with just a mirror. So, we should be... ready to get going. There's a secret door directly in front of us there. As you enter, an image of the Dreadlord appears before you. Back, foul mortals! It is enough that you've destroyed my body. My soul is not for you to take. What do you do? Uh, let's explore the room. The image fades, revealing a room bare save for a pedestal. Around it are iron golems and Medusa preparing for battle. Atop it is a single pulsing gem. That's Eldor's soul there. Okay, well, at least we've got some distance between ourselves. Okay, remember the iron golems can only be affected by lightning bolts which slow them down and fireballs which heal them. Hopefully the Medusas will all stone themselves when their gaze attacks get reflected. Okay, so let's see where the nearest... Yeah, we can get in front of that first one. And we do have mass invisibility up. So hopefully, as long as we stay out of melee range, they shouldn't be able to target us. And we're going to move Eladan Yeah, and have him cast a lightning bolt down that top row of iron golems. And then we'll have everybody else start wailing away at critters with slings. Ah, okay, Magic Sling doesn't seem to work on Iron Golems. Ah. Okay, how about Teresa's Staff Sling? Well, okay. Maybe we should just have her stay put for now. Well, maybe we should have them. <laughs> Start wailing away invisibility or no invisibility. Oh, that's right. Yeah, remember, plus three weapons are better. That's why the sling plus one didn't work.
Yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Eat my longsword plus five, though. I'm going to have to do something about that gray hair. Ow. Okay, we'll use another lightning bolt. Of course, there's nobody else there for it to affect. Wah. Okay, just a nice magic missile, and we can really go to town with memorized spells in this battle, at least against the Medusas, because we'll win the game after this. I think we've taken out all the Medusas, so... Yeah, and pretty much everyone has at least plus three weapons by this point, often plus fours or plus fives. I'm pretty sure we are out of... lightning bolt spells, but that's okay. I th hopefully the fighters will do the brunt of the iron golem fighting. And if we can just complete this battle We'll be able to rest all we want. I think there's just that one iron golem left. And we took it out. Yay! Yep, that was it. Over 25,000 experience, no treasure. As the battle winds down, the gem is shattered. A translucent spirit rises from the shards. You can tell that it no longer has the taint of a lich. As it floats upward, a second spirit appears through the wall. You recognize it as Oswald's, the guardian at the castle gate. Near the ceiling, the two meet and embrace. Oswald looks down upon you and whispers, My brother's soul has been freed by your efforts. His madness is gone. And we go to a better place. Thank you. The two pass through the ceiling and are gone.
you also note that the cold is completely gone from the area. A gate begins to glow in the northwest corner. Okay, now I'm thinking it probably would be safe to rest in this room, but we might as well go to the northwest corner of the room because we know it'll be safe to rest once we get to the Well of Knowledge. So let's just go ahead and we'll go in the corner and go through the glowing gateway and we're back at the Well of Knowledge. Okay, let's take a real quick look, see where we are. Okay, so, yeah, kind of catty corner, uh, southeast sector of the Well of Knowledge area. The one we need to get back to town is in the northwest area. I'm going to take a break just a second to rest and heal here, and then we'll head back into town. So, hang on. Okay, we're back. And the party's completely rested and healed. Took 14 hours to memorize, to rememorize all the spells that we had used. So let's probably switch to area mode for easier navigation through the well, and we will head back to town. Okay, and that should be the entrance to the teleporter back to town. You've done all that all we wish that you would. You will be heroes here forever. Join the celebration. Stay in town for as long as you'd like. The people will celebrate until you leave for your next adventure. So, yeah we can you know train do stuff in the vault um, buy stuff in the magic shop whatever we want partying's going to go on for a while but if we leave town and re-enter it'll be reset to the way it was except that the magic shop will be gone so I don't think we're going to be leaving town before we finish up with the game completely. So we're going to, just going to go around. And we'll go in the Hall of Train. The building is empty. The tra training master and most of the townsmen are out dancing in the street. I don't know. We might have to leave the town. and. retrain is the magic shop the building is abandoned and bereft of valuables oh crap that really stinks shopkeeper most of the townsmen are out dancing in the street we might actually have to leave town and re-enter just to get anything done here. Okay. What about the... Townsmen, rush up, shake your hand, and shout for joy! Yeah, that's the one with the old guy who told such nice stories. But, but, I wanted to shop until I dropped. A wild party is going on. Drinks pour freely. You awake with an aching head in the mayor's house. Yeah, the party's still going on. Okay. Yeah. A 
Okay, so you know what? I think we are going to have to step out of town just very briefly. We could either step out through this way or go through the teleporter and come back in again. Now, uh, yeah, basically, magic shop's out of business. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. So, no more magic items that we can buy. But, basically, we can ID stuff, we can drop stuff off in the vault, we can train. In fact, I think... Yeah. So, but, yeah, very... So now it's just like the way it was before the party, except there's this no magic shop. But I am going to check to see if anybody's ready to train for the next level. Of course, we might have everybody maxed out pretty much. Well, definitely, Elro here was. Pox, probably, yeah, I think she's, yeah, got a little ways to go to get to level 15, which is the maximum here. Teresa's maxed out. Gimli's maxed out. Heladan's maxed out. So it's Hosita. And of course, Val is maxed out, and she'll have a cameo in the next game, but. Yeah. So basically, uh, Pox is the only one who isn't maxed out on levels in any case. So at this point, I think we'll be IDing the last few things we picked up in those last few battles and deciding what gear we want to take with us on into the next game. Um, I will try to run... Elver here in Poxenarium through that universal character editor that Aldragon told me about and strip out the plain vanilla fighter class from each of them so that they get their proper number of attacks per round that will become increasingly important as we go as we take this party into pools of darkness. After this game you know, I had promised a 200th an a 200 subscriber special, and now that I'm done with this, it'll be easy to tinker with the settings in my recording software so I can finally get that done. I think I will be doing a campaign game of Spectromancer. You'll see what that game is when we get to it. Little card-based game. The campaign game does have a little bit of story, so it's not as boring as it might otherwise be. Then, when, after that, going back to Heroes Chronicles, and we'll be doing one of the two DLC campaigns, the World Tree. That's only five scenarios, so it shouldn't take as long as some of the other ones. And then after that, we have our choice of either taking this party into 
pools of darkness are taking our Game of Thrones themed party from Death Knights of Kryn into Dark Queen of Kryn. So we'll be doing Spectromancer next as our 200th 200 subscriber special and we'll see you in the next Let's Play.